Hello and welcome to even more looting and chatting. So you can see the route here. What we did is we have a little base and we've actually got a few vehicles. So uh, I headed over to the uh, northeast airfield, then did a bit of a kind of route round, went to Gorka, then started to head towards Novi and then Starry, and that's where it all went a bit wrong. So you join the footage here. You can see we, we've actually had some quite successful looting trips on this server. Uh, I think vehicles seem to be particularly abundant here as well. I'm not. I, I don't think there's anything extraordinary from what they are. I think we've just been incredibly lucky. And um, as you can see here, we got a UAZ. Parlock found this and managed to fix it. Um, and uh, yeah, it was basically loaded with lots of lovely stuff, um, which we've basically been using. So uh, it's just me in this footage today. And what, what I was doing really was um, I was just basically looking around for some general supplies. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll head to the airfield because what I was actually looking for as well is a helicopter. We, um, we, we've we been doing a lot of videos at night with helicopters, obviously, as you, you've probably seen a few of them, hopefully. And um, we, we actually are kind of really quite a quite like it because what you can do at night, and I'm sure you know this, is um, you can find the helicopter down crash sites a lot easier obviously with night vision and, set and such. So um, really during the day what we were doing here was just preparing for what was going to be a night um, basically hunting for helicopter wrecks. Um, in terms of equipment we're looking for, um, I think Parlock only has a an AR, an assault rifle, so we were looking for something a bit more kind of potent for him in terms of range. He's actually been killed a few times as well um, lately because he's actually come across uh, survivors at distance. And unfortunately, with an MP5 or even an AR, um, if they've got an AS50 or a, or a DMR or something, then you know it's it's a foregone conclusion who's going to lose that. Um, I've got my DMR still, and I've actually had this gun for ages now. I think it's uh, I, I do like the DMRs. I think they're particularly good. Um, also, just the fact you can use night vision with them is particularly cool. Um, so, sort of kind of going through the town here, always checking. I think really just to see if there's any spawn zombies. Um, I, this is something that again I don't do later in the video, and you'll see I pretty much um, come a cropper because of it. So, but I won't spoil it. Um, but towards the end of the video, um, yeah, it kind of, that, that little mantra of always looking for zombies while in a car um, doesn't serve me too well. But anyway, you'll see that. Um, so really what we're doing here is, and again, relatively low population server today. This was, um, I think, shot maybe around 2 or 3 in the afternoon. And um, really all I was doing was uh, taking advantage of there not really being too many people on and heading on over to um, the northeast airfield. Sometimes, I mean, we seem to have a lot of luck with this particular airfield. Um, I'm not sure why, but we've always found helicopters here and um, we've always found particularly good guns here as well. So um, I think maybe we're just very lucky, but um, with the UAZ as well, it just was such an easy thing to come and loot. And you can see where our base was. I'm afraid it's not there anymore, so don't, <laughs> don't bother trying to kind of track where we were because I'm afraid it all got looted while we were um, away. But there we go, that's life. So um, basically what we're doing really is just to look around to see what uh, you know kind of things are here. And I think with the hangars as well, I mean, obviously you've got to watch out for snipers in the far hill to the left there. But you know, I think rarely have we ever come across um, players here. I think probably never, in fact. I think this has been one of our luckier um, airfields. Um, just edited a video this morning, actually, which um, showed some footage of us basically at the northwest airfield and basically within like five minutes of arriving there we had um, you know a, a pretty sizable squad uh, well armed as well um, in the distance they hadn't seen us so we were sort of debating whether or not to shoot them but in hindsight I'm glad we didn't because we would have lost all our lovely equipment you see here um, but I think this is why the northeast airfield okay you don't have barracks here and you don't have half as good stuff but it's still it's not bad um, and you know if you've got absolutely nothing um, finding an, uh, an AK-74 or even a, a, an AKM here is just ideal because you know that's a really good gun really good rifle uh, to have weirdly enough I think people do come here but I think nobody kind of lingers this is why it's a particularly good place to uh, to loot but I wouldn't recommend staying too long so you see every time we come here and loot we pretty much you know grab and go as the saying goes so um, basically I'm now on my way back um, what I want to do now is probably head through the town and back to the base um, and then I wanted to go and loot Starry and again I think it's called buoyed by the fact there weren't too many people on 
um, you know, I was going to kind of head that way. But there was no chance I was going to take this UAZ to Starry um, in broad daylight because it's just basically asking to be nicked, shot, killed and blown up. So um, what I do is I'm now heading back to the base to basically swap out for the, uh, the quad bike, which, you know, again, we don't mind if we lose that because it's particularly rubbish. Um, always again just looking out for Zombles, seeing if we can see anything um, on the distance. Um, those of you who've seen the other videos I've done, you'll probably remember the car chase we had with one of these things. We were being chased in our little mini blue van um, and we had a UAZ basically chasing us. Um, I think it was a UAZ, it might be in a military transport, but either way it wasn't as fast and as you can see there, the, you know, the top speed on this thing is only about 75 whereas the little, the little blue mini van um, was hitting around 95 kpm, so pretty, pretty you know, fast car to be honest with you. I think this thing's very good off road though, and I think this is why, you know, given the choice between the two, this is this is the vehicle of choice. Plus, it's also pretty easy to hide. You know, we, we actually held on to this for quite a while. Um, however, I'm you know I'm sad to say somebody did find it eventually and took it. Um, which, you know, is kind of, you know, props to them because I think, you know, there's nothing better in DayZ than coming across something unexpected and I think it's nice if it's actually something positive. So if you come across a vehicle um, that you can use, I think that's absolutely awesome. So we, we, we took benefit from it. I think we we generally fix vehicles. So when we come across them, I, th I don't think ever we've actually found, oh no, I lie, we actually did find a, another blue minivan which was fully repaired and filled with gear. Um, and I think we found things like buses and stuff like that. But when it comes to the really secret stuff like the UAZ and stuff like that, rarely do we ever find them unless they're completely destroyed and spawned in brand new. So, well, you know what I mean, brand new. <laughs> and I think really this is why, um, you know, it, it gets a bit frustrating um, when you log in and you see your car's gone. But, you know, it's part of the game. I think it's actually quite a brilliant part of the game as well because... You know, imagine if you could actually keep all the vehicles as well. People would just hoard them, and that's actually a really good point because I think this game suffers from mass, pe you know, mass hoarding of stuff. And I remember all the frory that went up about bloody tents when tents weren't saving stuff. And it's like, you know, some I remember some guy making a post and he was saying I had collected like all the ARs in the game and they were in the tent. It's like, dude, Jesus Christ, it's not that kind of game. You know, you shouldn't be looking to, you know, have every AR in the game so you can sit there and look at it. It's just pointless you know <laughs> why would you do that just you know uh, to, be, to be honest I didn't really understand the point of it to be honest with you I thought it was a bit strange uh, that somebody would do that but the, the whole collector bug is is quite prominent in this game actually and I suffered from it a little bit where I had to have a ghillie I had to have night vision you know all of the mods that you can fit so radio night you know the the toolbox all that stuff and then the reality of it is is that you just get shot and die so you know part of it is just a bit pointless really and and like I say many times, yeah, your stuff becomes a barrier to fun. You know, the more stuff you have, the less fun you're going to have. So, you know, there's nothing better than just spawning, getting a Lee Enfield, and then raging around town, killing people. That's funny because at the end of the day, it's it's there's low risk and low loss. So, um, you know, I do, you know, I do kind of try to encourage the gameplay of that. You know, so you know, if we do get too much stuff, generally what we'll do is we'll actually put it off. And um, you know we end, we end up losing most of it anyway, so it's it's all good fun. So as you can see, I did relog here. I think this was maybe about half an hour later. The thing in Daisy that I, I just cannot believe people still do is um, when they go AFK, they'll just sit somewhere like hidden or prone in the middle of a field. And I, I'm not kidding, people do this, and it just absolutely baffles me why people do this. So um, some servers kick you if you kind of disconnect and but just stay in the in the kind of login screen. Some some servers don't like that. But um, to be honest, you're an absolute idiot if you do that because um, I think you've even you may have even seen a previous video of mine, uh, the eventful day part one. Um, I come across a guy who's basically AFK. He's not doing anything. He's just stood in a room in a house, um, basically looking into space. And yeah, he basically dies because. Um, yeah, I don't know who he is. He could have been hostile. He had a great big machine gun on his back, so you know I'm not exactly going to trust him up close. So I shot him with my M14. So <laughs> I did feel a bit bad, but only for about two seconds. Um, so yeah, this is why I've changed uh, my skin type here. So you can see here, dressed slightly differently. Um, and really, all I was doing was trying to get towards uh, Gorka, and I was basically going to head towards Novi and Starry and just sort of loot around there. Now, again, there's not many people on the server, um, so I'm feeling quite 
bold and brave and I feel that it's no problem just to kind of really go for this because um, at the end of the day it's rare that you're going to come across players um, running around but on cars and stuff like that it's it's a higher chance because they will hear you coming and I think again the sound in this game is just the divine it really is the ability to kind of really factor in we'll hear you look at that the fact the ability to factor in and see where people are and or hear where people are and where maybe motion is coming from I think is absolutely brilliant um, so I think particularly with the ATV it's quite loud um, but I think most vehicles are I mean when you think about the helicopter as well you can hear that for probably a good mile away maybe so um, at least you hear it at the corner of your ears if that makes sense um, always generally play Daisy with the headset on as well because you do kind of hear the additional noises and probably the most important one is bullets cracking near you um, you may not always hear the register of the gun so if you've actually got your headphones on you may hear the crack um, and again people generally die because they're not listening <laughs> not listening to Daisy properly um, you know a few people I know who play in my Eve Corp they've got um, they've actually played with music on and they end up getting shot because you can't really hear what's going on you can't hear footsteps and all that good stuff so uh, always best to be careful so see here just zooming in trying to see if there's any zombies in Gorka doesn't look like it um, so again I'm quite bravely approaching here the way I see it is, is it's not really a big deal if I die I don't mind losing the ATV um, I'd be it'd be shame to lose the DMR but I think I actually even had a spare DMR um, stowed away so it wasn't too much of a problem um, but uh, again I think this was done maybe being a bit blasé um, and let me explain because I think the night before we'd had um, a number of engagements all of which we had won and I think we were feeling well I was feeling particularly bulletproof at this point because I think you know we'd had um, we'd come across other bandits or rather bandits because we're not bandits honest <laughs> and um, we'd found um, you know we've been in numerous gunfights and we found that we we're actually quite um, you know lucky and that we'd just never been shot so um, I think we're feeling rather brazen well I was feeling rather brazen at this point but um, you know I think that's always kind of you know pro before a fall and all that I think um, certainly that plays true here as you're about to see but um, I think certainly with uh, you know, places like Gorka and that, you know, they're generally not too busy. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of the gateway towards Novi and Stari Sobor, which obviously are very busy, just given the fact that you can loot military stuff at Stari. So um, generally got to be a bit careful looking for vehicles here, as you can see. I don't think I saw one here. Um, again, this is kind of just kind of how we roll, really. We just kind of roll around, find vehicles, and and generally try and fix them. Um, <clears throat> I think also at this point as well, <clears throat> a few more people were logging on the server and I wasn't really paying attention to that. And again, I would stress, if you're playing alone, please try and keep a, an eye on um, you know, <laughs> who's logging in because often you'll find that you're actually kind of playing, maybe assuming there's only like two or three people on. And all of a sudden, five, six people could log on and they could all be part of a squad or an outfit and it only takes one of them to hear you then you've got a big problem because then all of them have effectively heard you um, and I think that certainly happens here so I'm kind of rolling around um, basically just you know gunning it really because I was just thinking well you know might as well just <laughs> get this looting done see what I can find um, <clears throat> and I think really this is where I think it's um, you know it, it, it can be become quite you know it can become quite a dangerous thing to do um, even here just going over fields in the open and that I mean it's, it's all kind of dumb now I look back at it, I particularly realise how, you know, I was just basically thinking, well, I'm fast, I can get away. But the reality of it is, is that one sniper shot from a sniper who doesn't necessarily have to be a very good sniper would absolutely decimate me. So, um, you know, in hindsight, I think it was all a bit dumb. But this is kind of why I do generally play at night as well. I, I think I've got night vision on at this point, but I'm not using it, obviously. But again, it was kind of stupid to loot with night vision because obviously if I lost it, that's particularly, uh, that's a big loss. So um, also you can see here the dust that is kicking up as well. I mean, it, it's just, you can see it from miles away. You can hear it from miles away. So yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was just <laughs> enjoying the drive actually. Um, cow, I best not hit that. Um, so I think also kind of coming near Starry now, or it could be Gorka, I can't remember which. I think it is, yeah, it's Starry, so kind of, you know, getting closer to it. Um, and I think even at this point, I'm completely blissfully unaware 
there's anyone around me I'm just assuming everything's kind of tickety boo um, so you know still gunning it still you know racing around um, if you press shift I'm sure you know this but if you press shift you get that little bit of extra speed and I'm just pressing shift as much as I can because you know and, and I think it actually makes your engine a bit louder as well if I'm honest with you man I'm reckless at this thing eh? and I think this is this is what made me laugh about it because it's just absolutely lunacy that I'm racing around like this just so you know I've not actually died with this character for over 115 days now um, I don't know if you've seen that some of the videos I've done when I log on it says day whatever I think this one's up to about 124 and I do play pretty much every day or at least every other day um, so that shows you how risk averse I really am but um, I think really this this one was probably as close as I've come to death um, in a while to be honest with you and you'll as you'll see in a moment um, kind of still gunning it um, and again I think it's just stupid to do this the ATVs themselves are probably death traps to be honest if you if you roll an ATV it can kill you as well so you know I think it's particularly stupid uh, stupid of me to actually do this and then again I think I maybe saw Novi on the distance here and I'm like right let's go over the hill so I'm actually driving straight towards Sniper Hill as well so I don't know I don't think I've been drinking at this point <laughs> it feels like I had because this was kind of dumb uh, in fact it's phenomenally dumb to do this um, if there's like a guide how not to play Daisy this has got to be it because in the daylight in you know in the middle of a field gunning it with an ATV near one of the most kind of camped places you could possibly imagine yeah I'm a moron I really am to do this um, and as you'll see uh, now basically as you can as you'll probably appreciate I'm coming up towards um, although I think this is Gawker isn't it anyway you'll see now there there's a zombie and I'm now realizing oh my god I've just driven straight into a gunfight and as you can hear there's gunshots listen to those gunshots I think that's a saw. So I think I'm safe. No, I'm not. <laughs> so there you go. And I didn't die. I know you want to see me die, but I'm sorry I didn't. But there you go, that was somebody, some dude with a saw laying into me and they just missed in every possible way so I don't know what was going on there but that just proves how absolutely idiotic it was to do what I just did. Hope you enjoyed that, see you next time.